Hello, welcome back to my channel Lady T. My name is Natalie. We are going to continue with Puppeteer. We are at Act 1, Curtain 3. Oh, what I want to see is how we did in Curtain 2. Okay, so we got 10 more souls and one more head. We We're going to do that later. Let us continue our adventure. You'll recall that even after the Moon Goddess was defeated and her legion was put to rout, her loyal subjects tried to resist. Four champions, ever faithful, rose to their mistress's calls. Over a period of weeks, they concocted an elaborate plan to lead a pathetically small but equally valiant <laughs> army against the Moonbear King. Pathetic. Grizzlestar. Did it work? No? Oh, we're going to see, okay. I was like, he go he's probably going to be very sarcastic. <laughs> I love this game. But so desperately did they fight, so bravely did they broil, that the tyrant himself finally deigned to confront them. Quite well, dare I say, skillfully, but alas. He's scared. <laughs> that shield will not protect you from me. Hey, uh, be a little bit nicer, my dude. At the end of that revolt, the Moonbear King used his dark magic to lock the four champions' powers away, and all would-be challenges to his throne were wiped from the face of the moon. I don't think we want that shield, though. It's already scratched. This shield was a special one indeed, for within it still dwelled the power of the moon goddess's knight. He whose valiant struggles ended in tragedy. Alas, poor knight, I knew him, Kutaro. This flashy shield of his got him farther than most, but when you're pitted against the king, uh, fear got to be these scratches. Courtesy of the Moon Bear King. Just look what's become mm -hmm. of the Moon Sigil. <gasps> that looks so cool! At last, look at Kudaro. Hi, Nancy. Oh, nice. Oh, very good. Next up, Luna Bitmart. Okay, shortbread. Mouth shut and ears open. That's my clever boy. Remember, you can fend off nearly any attack, great or small, just as long as you don't get smooshed in the process. Okay. Luna Ooh. Is she a hippo? There. You see, some attacks can be turned against the attacker. Next, try pointing the shield upward. Good. Now point the shield downward. We're not playing the opposite game. Point it down. Moving on. Luna bit part. The best defense is someone else's offense. And the night shield, as it happens, was specially designed to deflect beams of magic light. Which is lucky for you, because here comes a doozy. Bounces at that grub there. Yeah. And the bear. <laughs> nice. Kaplowy. <laughs> Kaplowy. Thank you. You sit it down. <laughs> Good 
got it, if okay. Then get lost. He is. Oh, look. Get lost. We conjured up an exit. How We should hurry. Sadly, not all the castle's puppets were having the same luck as Kutaro. Winken, Blink, Are we lucky? Here. Try to make a break for it. Ooh. And got broken for their trouble. The Moonbear King's overblown guillotine was waiting to reduce all such traitors to scrap. Please, stay on your toes if you want to keep them. Looks like you need a head to get ahead. No defense is perfect. You'll find a weakness if you keep your eyes peeled. Ooh. Oh, there we go. The witch said you might need to give the shield a rest. Bravo! An eye for an eye. Found out the guillotine. Nice. That's our head right now. What does it do? It's your carrots now, okay. Climb on up, Putaro. Colored in eclipse. It's just like the shimmering gateway has been swiped. Okay. Oh no. King's brand new security system was installed here last week. Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay. I don't have that head, so... Yeah, I saw what I had to do, but I didn't have that head. Here, the shimmering gateway abruptly ended. Kutaro could not stave off a sinking feeling that things were about to get grim. There you are, you vexatious thing. You don't see me. You don't have to. Just stay where you are. No. Well, we've reached the top of the prison towers, but where is the gate? Oh. Help! Somebody! Oh, that's right. The princess is being held here. Oh. 
little bit more life would be nice -y. Was it the night's soul within the shield, or something else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A fire filled Kutaro's heart, and he knew it was his duty to save... Yeah, I just lost that head. Just what is it about damsels? Rest here. Oh, wrong head, but okay. Are you my knight in shining armor? Yes. I'm trying. Where do we have to go then? Nice! I think. I don't know how we did that and I'm not sure that it is due to us but... Hi! Oh, who are you? Oh no. That was fun. Hey! Look at him. Kudo is standing there like, um, excuse you? Oh yeah, we didn't have a boss fight yet. Hello, evil kitty. Oh, I see you too. Yes. Yeah, I was trying. Thank you for um, the help, I guess. Oh, and I should guard there. Okay, thank you. I understand now. Oh, come on. I was jumping too high, I guess. Okay, this is going to be a hard fight. Oh, I'm not... It doesn't end on time. Oh, why? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Try number 20,000. Bad 
news. <laughs> I chew before I swallow. We. Okay, and there I should do something, I guess. Well, not that. think next time but okay oh come on Oh, yeah, I was the wrong button. Oh my frick. This is difficult. scrumptious just saying I'm a spider <gasps> you should go up there I see 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 Oi. no 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 oh please go on Let's go to the dentist, to the dentist, to the dentist, to the dentist. Keep your filthy mitts off my fan. Agreed. Yes, what is this? No, that was life. Go! To the frick, to the frick, to the frick, get it. What the frick is this? Relax. This will only hurt for a second. Yes. I. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. I do not like this. I do not like this. I do not like this. Oh, wrong button! Go for the freak, for the freak, for the freak! Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this. We're going to replay this so many of time. Wee wee wee. Go run for the sake of your life. Wee wee wee. Wee 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 wee. Jump to the jumpies! Oh, to the jumpies! Okay, what do we press? Press! And press! Oi, 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 to the oi, 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 Go, 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 and what is that now? Oi 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 to the oi 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 Oh that's not good, that's not good, that's not good He's angry, he's very very angry Ah! 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 Cues! Cues! 
We declaw them. I would be pissed about that. Did he eat me? Oh, you diff. You diff, you diff, you diff, you diff, you diff. Oh, we're clipping everything. It's bye bye to the kitty. Oh, you were so sweet. You ate my friend. But... Did she just grab him up? <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, we killed his pet. Give me back my scissors. I'll see no. you to the end of the moon. This world belongs to me now. You'll never be safe ever. I already left you behind. Game, are we all right? Uh, need for the puss, not for the cat. Earn the trophy. With the help okay. of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. to trust the picture books have been unlocked in the main menu join your favorite characters on unsold adventures in his time with children's classics okay we should check that out before we end here first let's go to that collection a bit gruesome but hey yo Arena, a top built performer who was winsome turns as a child prodigy, put a magical theatre on the map and saved it from bankruptcy. A demanding perfectionist, she retreated from the limelight in university and relearned her craft. She has been known to pack on pounds and even learn other languages for her roles. The guillotine, a giant decapitator the moonbag king had special made. Its blade is so sharp and sure that victims feel no pain. It cuts are so clean that you could stick the two pieces back together like nothing ever happened. Except for that the person is dead, of course. The guillotine is often tested on Garrus and features Mince, Great and Julian modes. Iron Ball, the weapon of a brave warrior who rebelled against the Moonbag King. One by one, grubs were smashed upon its mighty spikes and came to fear the Ball of Pain. But after the nameless hero tossed it at a weaver and caught it with his face, Fear got a new name, the Ball of Lame. None dare touch it now. Okay, and now I want to see what the picture book is all about. Like, are these extra little levels or something? Castle Grizzlestein, aka the Black Castle. Doesn't sound very welcoming, does it? Not that this cat minded. The witch, lucky enough to be his mistress, won Esma. Ah, Castle Waxwain, 
a pallor so white you had to squint to find the doorknob. Its ruler, the goddess, had a special place in her heart for one particular feline. So when the tyrants stole Moonstone and Scissors and staged a rebellion, who do you think Cat apulted into action first? Meow! <coughs> the Blitz may have been cut tragically short, but it was a life worth giving. Even after the whole Moon Realm had fallen, the Cat rallied the Goddess's most faithful subjects, determined to kitty-corner the Tyrant right in his throne room. Follow me, you dogs, he shouted to the four champions. And all of them, even the young knight who was allergic, did just that. The plan might have gone without a hitch had the knight not been such a hopeless chicken. Well, you can run over a cat twice, but you can never roadkill his spirit. The four champions had been slain, their powers scattered. But our dear feline never gave up on the goddess. He spent another life scouring the moon for any ally willing to fight for her cause. Thrice dead but undeterred, the cat tried his luck on the high seas. No danger was too distressuous, no horror too harrowific. Into the jaws of peril he leapt and found it quite difficult to get back out. Would none take his side in this cold, cruel world? No, he had but two allies now, his feline pride and the love for the goddess in his heart. I'll tackle that monster all by myself, he meows, no matter how many lives it takes. But alas, what hope had one messenger of justice beneath the beefy legs of evil. Our protagonist quickly flipped to the end of this book in search of a happy ending. The sting of five lives lost and the acrid taste of disappointment were just too much to bear. It was then that he met Esma Potts. To be clear, this was no shining goddess. The witch was so ugly on the outside so nasty on the inside that the moon cat felt compelled to walk away. Until, that is, he realized they had a common goal. He decided to hold out hope for a special child the witch assured him was coming. Each night, he gathered a few puppets and led them up to the Tower of Tribulations. But these were mere children Dreaming children, the brave ones died and turned to grubs, while the cowards who ran were enslaved in the kitchen. It was no use. After seven messy deaths, our plucky feline had fought himself out. Yes, the goddess was beautiful. Yes, life was better once. But getting all worked up over the paradise he'd lost, was blinding him to the joys of mediocrity. Eat up, you mangy sluggard, so you can get some work done for a change. Today's joy was snot-colored soup and a lecture, but at least he wouldn't starve. Home is where you hang your hat. He had two lives left, and this mooncat planned to sleep through them to their fullest. But you didn't. You went for this. So I first want to 100% complete this. Because if you see here, there's so many souls to be rescued. And we need the heads, I think. Here, also 10 souls, on head. This, the souls are complete. We have, don't have Join a bonus day, so we don't have the all heads found. We will do that. Thank you so much for watching, and we will be back, back in the next episode to finish these. Thank you so much, goodbye!